Today we're working on Excel Lesson 6 Apply, which I have opened up. Go ahead and save it to your OneDrive with your initials. And step three, we're inserting a header with your name on the left, the current date in the center, and page number in the right. Change it back to normal view. Step four, adjust the width of column A using auto fit. So it doesn't matter which format you or which method you can click format, you can click auto fit, you can double click between the A and the B. Doesn't matter whichever way you choose to do it. So you, when you auto fit it, you see that everything fits in that column. Step five, drag over the range A8 to E8, select it, so we're going to highlight this whole row. Step six is open the Format Cells dialog box. So if you click on Format and then go to Format Cells, this opens up this dialog box. Click the Alignment tab and then open the Horizontal drop-down box. So right here where it says Horizontal, currently says General, we're going to click that down arrow and we're going to click fill and then click OK. When you do that you see that it filled with dots all the way across that row. It's, just, it's telling you it's just another way to create a border. Step 8 says select the following non-contiguous cells. Those, that's a big word. So select cell D10 to start with and then we're going to hold down the control key and by doing that, it's going to select all these cells. So we're going to click E10, E17, E18, E22, E23, and E25. So by holding down the control key, we were able to select them. And then we're going to type the number 4, and then control and enter. When you do that, you can see that it put the number 4 in all of those cells. Step 10 says click cell element to select it. So we're going to click right there and type 5 and control and enter. And we have a 5 in there now. Fill the range E12 to E14 with the same value. So you can click fill and you can click fill down you can, however you want to do it but I'm just going to click this down arrow and I'm going to go to E14 and fills in a 5 step 13 says enter the following date in the blank cells in column D so the first one is A or 5 and then it tells us that it wants you to do stuff like that to fill it down to it's trying to teach you to do the autofill. I will never know if you did or not, so if you just type them in, I'll never know. Step 14, enter the following data in the blank cells in column E. 3, 3, 5, 5, 4, 3, and 2. Step 15, open the Page Setup dialog box. So to get to the Page Setup dialog box, if you'll click Page Layout, the little square right here opens up the Page Setup dialog box. We're going to click on Sheet, and we're setting a print area. So right here where it says Print Area, if you look, click this little arrow, and then from A1 to E26. So I'm going to highlight from A1, drag down with my mouse, to where E26 is selected and click this arrow and then click OK. If you want to see if that is set, you can open up the dialog box again and go to Sheet and you'll see that the print area is A1 to E26. To see what a preview of that would look like, if you click File and then Print, you can see this is what it should look like. Step 16 says to print but you know we don't do that so go to step 17 save and close the file and submit it to me for grading 
and that completes apply six